Here's a quadratic equation that has just a little twist to it that I want to uh, make you aware of. Here we have the quadratic equation x squared minus 8x equals negative 16. We're trying to solve this by factoring. We're very comfortable doing that. We know we're supposed to set this equal to zero and then factor the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and add 16 to both sides. And then we'll get zero on the right-hand side. And then we'll get x squared minus 8x plus 16 on the left-hand side. So we'll try to factor the left-hand side. Um, usually if it's small like this, especially if the leading coefficient's one, I find it easiest just to do trial and error. Just try to think about what will FOIL to give you this uh, as an answer. Um, to get x squared, you'd have to have x times x. And then for the last two places, you're looking for something that will uh, multiply to 16 and add to negative eight. So if you watched any of my other videos on factoring, you, you know that I, I don't really deal with the signs, the pluses and minuses too much uh, until we get closer to the end of the problem. So I'm just gonna look at the factorizations of 16. So we have one times 16, we have two times eight, we have four times four, and that's about it. So I want um, two numbers, I want one of these guys that could potentially add to negative eight. Now a one and a 16, I don't care what the signs are, plus or minus or anything, those won't add to negative eight, they can't. Same thing for two and eight. But the four and the four, that's worth a closer look. So I have a four and a four. And to get negative eight, you would need minus four minus four and negative four times negative four is positive 16. So we found our factorization, and so you know what we do from here. We take these individual factors and set them equal to zero, but something's peculiar here. Uh, this is actually the same factor, so is there anything weird or different than we have to do? Well, it's the same factor, so you could actually think of this as x minus four quantity squared equals zero. So really we just have one factor, it's the same factor that we have to set equal to zero. So x minus four equals zero will give us x equals four. So this quadratic would actually only have one solution, that only four is a solution, it doesn't have two solutions like some quadratic equations do. So just be aware, if you have the same factor listed twice, it's not a big deal at all. You just have to set one of the individual factors equal to zero and solve.